The opinions of the host, guests, and callers. They do not necessarily represent the views of the advertisers, management, staff, or ownership of WCTC. Take Jersey Central with Bert Barron with you every morning. Listen online at WCTCAM.com. Jersey moves fast. Join the show that keeps you one step ahead. Jersey Central with Bert Barron. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? On the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. 708, welcome to hour number two of Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It's Bert Barron. Hello again from inside the Forge Jewelers Studios. We're going to do our contest coming up a little bit later on in this 7 o'clock hour. I've got your chance to score some tickets to see Dirty Dancing, the classic story on stage at the State Theater in New Brunswick on Sunday, November 6th at 7 p.m. We'll play some trivia for you coming up in just a little bit. Let's get to the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline and uh, introduce uh, one of the contestants on a recent season of Master Chef Junior, of course, the uh, Fox uh, television series. And uh, this is a guy who's going to be, uh, he's a name now, but he's going to be a huge name in the restaurant uh, world very soon. We have Zach Kara, who's joining us uh, this morning here on WCTC. Hey, Zach, it is Burt Barron. Good morning to you. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Good to talk to you, and uh, thanks for uh, giving us some t- of your time here this morning. Uh, Master Chef, uh, you went pretty far in that show. Talk about uh, what the experience was like for you. Yeah, so my Master Chef experience was truly incredible. Um, um, like overall, from like the staff to the color to the like, just everyone was just super nice. The judges were just amazing. And just, like, overall, I grew so much as a person and as a chef. And making it to the top four was just, it was really a dream come true. That had to be remarkable for you. Was the competition getting tougher and tougher as the rounds went through? Did you find a little more pressure on yourself as you were kind of continuing along uh, through the show? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's always, like, like the first thing you get there, it's pretty stressful because it's the first time it's kind of like, you're not too sure what's going on, but then eventually got the challenges got a lot harder, and then it became really kind of like there was a lot of pressure. Yeah, I'm sure. And when you think about it, if you're let's say for example, I mean, if you're working at one of the top restaurants in New mm-hmm. York or Los Angeles or Chicago or somewhere, there's yeah. pressure there every day too. So it was probably a good training ground for you for what it's going to be like uh, at these big restaurants. That uh, man, you're you're going to be writing your own ticket someday, very soon, yeah. I'm sure too. But it, it, to work in a restaurant kitchen uh, at that level, that's high pressure too, right? Yes, for for sure, I totally agree with that. Like especially inside one of the challenges, it was a restaurant challenge, kind of like sitting at at, at Chef Ramsay's house, and it was it that was actually one of the closest closest experiences I've actually had to a restaurant kind of thing, and even that was pretty stressful too. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's good a good training ground for you now. Now, the first thing that you, you sure. the first dish you created, and it sounds delicious. It was a dish uh, with French toast. That was the first thing that you made. Yeah. So um, one day, the, well, the first thing that uh, actually got top on my mom was actually scrambled eggs with with veggies. And then basically, what I did for the whole month is every morning I would chop all the veggies and make the eggs. But then it came to a point where I kind of got sick of that. So one morning I was messing around, and then I came up with this delicious French toast recipe that my dad and my whole family loves, and it's really delicious. French toast, whipped cream, and a vanilla glaze on it. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Man. Thank now, you. now you're saying that you were up chopping fresh vegetables uh, every morning. You realize every mother who is listening to us right now says, why won't my kid get up and cut me fresh, uh, fresh vegetables for breakfast? I'm sure mom was getting spoiled with all your hard work here. Oh, yeah, for sure. I, I, because, like, every morning I would go into the room and be like, yo, you guys want scrambled eggs? And they'd be like, sure. And then I think it came to a point where, like I said, I got tired of it, but they also got tired of it, too. So I kind of had to divert to uh, something else. That's awesome. Uh, you say your favorite food is uh, is a nice, juicy hamburger. What's the key, Zach? I, I cook all the time. I cook on the grill a lot. What's the key to making a really good, delicious, juicy hamburger? What's the best way? Uh, honestly, it's actually the type of meat that you use because you can actually go to like your your, your local butcher and have them grind up like these two different types of, of steaks. One that's a little bit more lean and one that has a little bit more uh, fat content to it. 
And, like, really that perfect ratio is what makes a delicious burger. And just not o- overcooking it. I mean, how do you cook it as long as it's not overcooked? It's not that all good. So that's what I think makes it really delicious. Burger. So it's a combination of a couple different meats, one that's a little bit more lean and one mm-hmm. that has a little bit of fat to it, and you, you kind of get the perfect mix of that, and, and yeah. that's the key, huh? And uh, it, what's the best way? Is it medium yeah. or medium well? Uh, or medium rare. What's the best way to cook a burger? I, I go for medium my, um, myself. Like, yeah, I, I kind of think it's like a personal preference, but mm-hmm. I, I, I like for like steak medium rare. And then for a burger, you want to have like a nice line of pink, uh, like a light pinkish running through the inside of, of the burger, which is around medium wallish kind of thing. Gotcha. Sometimes when it's cooked well done, it, it seems like it loses a lot of the flavor and a, a lot of the, the yeah. taste to it sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I, yeah I, I, don't go, sure. I don't go for well done uh, myself either. Zach Kerr is yeah, our guest this either. morning on WCTC uh, from a previous season of MasterChef Junior on Fox. And uh, what are you up to now, Zach? Uh, what's uh, what's going on with your, your cooking career now? So I've actually got a few upcoming projects going on, and um, I'm actually going to be filming a brand-new YouTube series on my channel where I show people how to cook really delicious meals from hard ones to, to like, just really simple and, like, easy ones that, that you can make in, like, 15 minutes. So that's kind of what's, what's, what's next for me. I'm just going to continue to keep doing what I'm doing uh, creating content and just sharing my love of, of cooking. Very cool. So a uh, YouTube channel, and we'll look for you there. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, you do all that stuff yeah. too, right? People can find you there? Yep, all of it. Very cool. We are, what, One more question for you. Where we are, Zach, in New Jersey, yeah. uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey, has mm-hmm. become a fantastic restaurant city over the last couple of years. There's cuisine from all over the world. Yeah. Virtually anything that you want, you could find uh, in a city like New Brunswick, New Jersey. Uh, what's the trend that you see? Is there anything now that you say that, oh, hey, this is going to be the next sort of in menu that people are going to look for? It seemed like it was Thai for a while and some some things uh, from around the world. Uh, what's like the next big thing that, that you see coming up in terms of, of demand from restaurants? Um, well, a lot of the things that are going on right now is something called uh, molecular gastronomy. And a lot of people say that it's actually really hard to make, but it's something just like very simple and it takes a couple of minutes to make that can really start to elevate the dishes a lot more. I mean, a, a few of the restaurants in called like at like Alinea, they do some incredible um, molecular gastronomy. So it's just like little stuff like that, that that can really have a huge impact on the restaurant. And, and on, on, on the dish as well. So All right. Well, that's good one stuff. That's thing I thought was really Awesome. Well, Zach, it was good to talk to you this morning. Uh, good luck uh, with your YouTube series. Uh, we'll be looking for that real soon as well. And uh, great to speak with you this morning, and uh, and keep up the great work. And uh, uh, we'll be looking for you at a five-star restaurant somewhere around the world very soon, all right? For sure. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. All right. My pleasure. Thank you. All right, Zach Kara, my guest.